Hello everyone, and um, this is going to be my last video on my channel until late, very late 2016. Because I will be traveling around the world and stuff, so just for a celebration video, I'm just going to be doing something that I haven't really done before, F2L tricks. So, if you know the, if you use CFOP like me, uh, the weakest point of your solve will be your F2, F2L. So, yeah, this is just going to be a video on some tricks, so... You you should use intuitive F2L, that's how I learned my F2L, and I'm going to teach you some tricks and stuff. So, here's the first, um, by the way, I'm just going to be using a Rubik's Spring Cube, because most of you guys probably won't have like a really good speed cube. Like, some of you might, but most of you won't. So, the first case is where you have, where you have this. It's like you have this bar right here, and you can see the corner, the white... Since we have a white cross, the white, the white sticker is here, and these two are the same color, and there's a bar here. Basically, you want to take them out and separate them. So if the white sticker is on the right, you want to do R U prime R prime. So that's like this. And basically, now you want to do an F prime. So basically, you could just do a three move insert, but instead of doing a three move insert, you're actually just going to do L prime U two L F. That, so that gets that done. It's pretty quick. And if the white sticker is on the left, you're just going to do the mirror. So you're going to break it up with L prime U L. And by the way, if you have the same case but it's in a different slot, you're just going to rotate. You're going to rotate the top layer until it's above the slot that it needs to go to. Then you're going to now, since it's going to be on the left this time, you're going to do F instead of F prime. But yeah, you're going to do F R U two R prime F prime. So yeah, there you go. Anyways, let me set up to the next to the next case. This case is where you have you can see that the white sticker is pointing up. And basically, you have a solid bar here. And you have an adjacent color here, and that same color is right there. Basically, for this, you wanna bring it right above it that the slot that it needs to go to. Now you wanna pay attention to how these are oriented. You wanna hold it so that if you were to just insert it. Like, like, pretend this is a pair. If you were to insert it, you would just insert that corner and not the actual edge. So pretend that this here, that this, basically you want to pretend that this is a pair here, and you're inserting it. And basically now you're going to rotate the top layer so that this edge is aligned with its center. And basically you want to bring the side with the corner up and make sure the Make sure the white sticker is facing you. I want to bring it up. Now you're going to rotate the top layer in a way so that these two could pair up like that. Now you're going to bring this back down. Then you would just insert it. The same thing can be done with the with the lefty one. So you can see, actually that was the lefty one, the righty one I was trying to say. So I'm going to pretend that this, that, wait, what? Uh... So I'm gonna pretend this is a pair. Okay, I was trying to, I was kind of losing track there, but so you're gonna pretend this is a pair. I'm gonna insert this corner, and so I'm gonna match this up with its center. Then I'm gonna bring that side with that edge that needs to pair up with this up, so then I can pair it up with this corner and then just insert it. So yeah, that was the first F2L trick. And let's move on to the next one. So, th so this next case is actually a case that a lot of you guys might know, but a lot of you, but a lot of you guys might not know. It's basically where you have this edge that's already oriented, and this corner with the white sticker is face where the white sticker is facing up. You're gonna hold it like this, so that's to the right, and you're gonna do this algorithm three times in a row. R U R prime U prime. Do it three times in a row. This gets solved. Also, there's another variation. It's where you have, uh, it doesn't really look similar, but you're just basically gonna do that. Are you our primary frame? You're gonna do that three, two times this time. It's basically where you have the the edge right here, and, and it's matched up with its center. And you're gonna look at the cross, and you want to see the color with this corner that's actually on the bottom. So I see blue, and on the top, blue is right there. Basically, you're gonna do R U R prime U prime two times. So R U R prime U prime R U R prime U prime, and that gets solved. 
let's move on to the next case. So this next case is another one with the white sticker facing up. And basically this is just going to be, it's pretty much the same as the case that we just did before the, the last one that we just did. Except you can see these two are adjacent colors. If you're going to, if you have it like this, you're just going to hold it right above the slot that it needs to go to. And basically you want to bring the side with this pair that's up. And you're going to do you 2 and bring that side down. So then you basically have this new move insert that you can make really easily. Now let's go into the next one. So this next one is actually very simple, and it's actually just uh, it's just the inverse of the one that we just did. So yeah, these two are adjacent. The white sticker is facing up. It's on the left side this time. So you're gonna bring that side with that pair up. You're gonna do U two, then bring that back down. So you have this three move insert. And yeah, now let's move on to the next one. This one is actually where you have the white sticker facing up. And the corresponding edge that goes with it is actually on a different side of the third layer. Basically, if you're like this, basically you want to you want to match up the corresponding edge that goes with this corner up with its center. So you can see this is red, blue, and I match it up with the red center since that's on the side of the third layer. You want to match it up, and basically you want to look at what slot that this pair needs to go to. So this this pair is white, blue, and red, and it needs to go right here in the white, blue, and reds, in the in between the white, blue, and red centers, basically. And you want to move it away to the opposite of these two colors that are adjacent. So red and blue are adjacent, and the opposite of this color, which is blue, is green. It's, it's right here, and you want to put this in with the green center. So it's like this, and you're gonna. Rotate that top layer just until these two are paired up. Then you're going to bring this back down. Then you're going to put it back. Now let's move on to the next case. This is actually sort of a rare case, but it's where you have this F2L slot, this F2L pair done, and this one that's done. But if you insert this pair, you ruin up this pair. So how do you put this pair in without ruining this pair? So you could actually do that. You could actually do that with something called a sledgehammer. It's basically, um, you're going to insert it like this. You're going to do R prime. You're just going to look at the cross and you're going to do R prime, U, R, U prime. And get, that gets this done. And basically, this is preserved. So you basically preserved a pair that you can just insert the normal way. Let's move on to the next pair. So this one is actually very, pretty frequent. Frequent. I can't say words right today, but yeah, this is a freaking frequent case. It's where you have this edge that's basically twisted around. So it's twisted in the wrong way that's supposed to be. So this is supposed to be orange and this is supposed to be blue, but it's twisted around. And the corner that goes with it is has the white stir up. So basically the normal way to do it is take out that pair, then insert it. But a much faster way would be so you're just gonna have it like this and you wanna do a U prime to put the spear in the back and remember that sledgehammer that we did you're actually just gonna do that sledgehammer and while you do that you actually just get this pair done so and then you're just gonna insert it it's pretty cool now let's move on to the next case so this is a, an extremely simple case but uh... this way to execute this case is actually very tr finger trick friendly so basically you have the F2L pair out and you want to insert it but like if your hands are like in a position like this but you need to you you can't do a sledgehammer because like you're just not going to be ready for that. So if you're if your hands are placed like this right after you do this pair, you could just do this algorithm which is very simple and easy that puts this pair in and it's very finger trick friendly. It's middle prime you R, U prime, wide R prime. Now, wide. Now, when I say wide letters, it's pretty much the same exact thing as little letters. So remember, uh, the G perms in my PLL video, all and PLL videos, same thing. So wide R prime. Let's move on to the next case. So this next case is where you have the edge inserted 
in between its two centers, but it's twisted the wrong way, and the corner with one of the white stickers facing on the sides of the third layer. So you can see this is on the side. And basically, uh, what you're going to do is you're just going to put the corner, depending on where the white sticker is, if it's on the right or on the left, you're going to hold it so that the sticker is within that twisted edge. So this is within that twisted edge. And basically, you're going to peek the corner down, and you're going to do the, and you're going to rotate the top layer until, so, so you're going to memorize where that corner was. So before we peek down the corner, it was here. And you want to bring it to the opposite. So the opposite of this corner would be here, and the closest edge to this would be this. So you want to bring it up there, and you're going to bring the corner back. So remember, you hide in it. You want to bring it back now. And as you can see, these two are the same color here. So you could just insert it like that. Let's move on to the next position. So this is going to be the last F2L pair case. It's where you have this pair that you would insert it, but this is actually a very easy winter variation, which some of you very intermediate speed cubers like me know what this is, and we love using it, but it's basically where you have this little square done, this edge done, and basically there's a block here, and you want to put in this F2L pair. Instead of putting it the normal way, you could actually put it right above the slot that it needs to go to do a U2 R U2 Art Prime. I got a PLL skip there because in order to show you guys that case, I just did that algorithm once and I did it again, which gives you a solved cube. Anyway, so this is going to be the F2L part of this this video. Basically, so this video is just going to be I don't I know I don't know why I'm saying this where in like the middle of the video, but that beginning was just for the F12, but the rest of the video is going to be about four look last layer. It's basically where you solve the last layer using two look Ola and two look peel. Many people would really love this, and they would use this rather than memorizing over, over like 70 algorithms, over 70 algorithms basically, with 57 orient orientation cases for Ola and 21 for peel. So, yeah. By the way, if you guys don't know, I do know full PL, but I do not know full OL. And a lot of the time, I just use two look OL, so I'll just teach you two look OL and PL. So let me just get into the algorithms that you need to know. So basically, what you're going to be doing in the first part of the four look last layer, which is two look OL, is you're going to do an algorithm, which is just going to get you with the cross, and you're just going to use one algorithm from there to have the solved yellow side. So, basically, I've actually taught this in my beginner's method tutorial in order to get the cross, but it's pretty straightforward. So, you, so while you're trying to get the cross, or you might already have the cross, you never know, out of all the 43 quintillion cases, but if you don't have the cross, you're just going to do this. So, you're not going to pay attention to any of the corners. You're just going to uh, pay attention with the edges, so... If you're like this, where the edges here are like kind of create this line, do not pay attention with, with the corners, by the way. Just this line. So you have this line. You're going to do this algorithm F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And that should give you the cross. And also, if you have it like this, where you have this L shape, you're going to ha hold it like this. So it's like a backwards L, basically. And you're going to do F, U, R, U prime, R prime, F prime. So that should give you the cross. Also, if you're in a case like this where you just have this little centerpiece and no edges whatsoever, you're just going to do this algorithm. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, S. Now, S is actually going to be a pretty new uh, sort of notation for you rockers out there. So... S is just rotating this middle slice, so S stands for slice clockwise, and same for S prime counterclockwise. So again, you're just going to be doing S R U R prime U prime wide F prime. That should give you the cross. Now let's go into the cases that you're gonna have for the cross. So there are seven orientation cases for the cross, and this time you're actually going to be paying attention to the corners because those are your main targets now. 
So the first algorithm that you're gonna that you're gonna know, and many of you guys already know this, but it's called the soon. It's where you have the cross done, you have one corner done, and there's another corner right there. So the algorithm for the soon is R U R prime U R U two R prime, and you can see that solved the whole face. Now let's get on to the next the next orientation case. This one is called the anti soon. It's basically where you have that one corner of them, but there's not a corner here, but it's right there. You could actually use two algorithms for this. So the first one, which is the fastest one, is where you have these in the back. The algorithm for this is R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime, U2, R. The next variation for this, well, actually, in order to get to the next variation, I'm just going to use magic. So I'm just gonna do this, and it, and you could, you, you're gonna see that the third layer is just going to get into that other position for that anti soon. So, boom! You guys saw that? I just made it into the other position for the anti soon. So this position is where you have the cross, and the corner is here now, and the corner is here. It's pretty much just the mirror of the regular soon. The algorithm for this is L prime U prime L U prime L prime U two L. Let's get into the next case. So for this one, I actually use two, I use three different algorithms. I know it's sort of crazy. It's because I know a little bit of ZBLL, and basically I use some ZBL, two ZBLL algorithms and just one regular OLL algorithm. So basically this one is where you have the cross done. You have two headlights here, yellow headlights here and yellow headlights there. Basically, if you just have a random... Like you're you're gonna pay attention to the colors of these corners. If you just have randomly stuff going here, like this one's actually a ZBL case, but I'll get into this case after this one. But the standard algorithm is you're gonna order like this by the way, and the standard algorithm is R U two R prime U prime R U R prime U prime R U prime R prime. Now I'm gonna get into that ZBL. So for this ZBL case we're gonna hold it like this. Huh. What? Oh, I did something wrong, guys. Sorry. I'm gonna. I don't. I'm not. I'm not really sure if I'm just gonna edit this out. Because I always make mistakes like this in my videos. But if I won't edit this out, I'll probably. I probably won't edit this out since this is my last video in a long time. So, yeah. And by the way, the guys, this is gonna be a long video. So, just stay tuned. Okay, so this is the case I was talking about. It's where you have the cross done, and you have these two corners and these two corners that are opposites, and basically you wanna... Basically how I recognize this is lines. So two corners that are the same color have the lines. So these two create this horizontal line, and these two create this horizontal line. Basically, if both of them are horizontal like this, the ZBL I use for this, and ZBL, by the way, is just it gets all the corners oriented oriented and it basically gets the yellow layer the yellow face oriented and you have a 1 in 12 chance of getting a PLL skip so I really like ZBL basically the algorithm for this is R U R prime U R U prime R prime U R U2 R prime now let me get into that other ZBL case so this one is actually where the lines here. Oh wow, I messed up again, guys. Sorry, I messed up again. Uh, I'll just get back to you guys after I get the right case done. So I finally got to that right case. So this case is pretty much very similar. So you have headlights here, headlights here. Same thing for the other two that I just showed you guys. But basically, in this one, you're just going to have. So remember the lines I was talking about. If you don't. If you don't remember what the lines is, you're completely free to rewind the video back to the lines things. But basically now the lines are both vertical like this. Now this time you're actually going to hold them like this. So you have the two headlights here and here. And the algorithm for this is F R U I prime U prime R U I prime U prime R U I prime U prime F prime. So basically you're just gonna do F R U I prime U prime three times and I'm just gonna finish it off with an F prime. That's like the first ZBL I've ever learned and it's very very easy. And for just one more other case I'm actually I actually 
Actually, for two more of the cases, I use a ZBL because the old actual OL algorithm for it is a bit longer. But yeah, let me just get into those. So for this case, I actually use two algorithms: a ZBL case and a regular OL case. So basically, you're just gonna look around for like a two a two by two by one block like this. So I don't see any, so I'm I will just use the regular OL case. It's basically where you have these two corners and these two corners like this. This is also referred to as a hammer head because it's very easy. Anyway, so the algorithm for this is X. By the way, that's a cube notation. It's basically where you where you look down. So X means looking down. So you're gonna look down and then and they're gonna do L U R prime U prime L prime U R U prime X prime. So then I'm just going to get just that done. Now let me get into that ZBL. So that ZBL case I was talking about is basically where you have this 2 by 2 by one block here. And yeah, it's just another hammerhead. You're going to hold it like this actually this time. And you're going to do X prime, R, U, R prime, D, R, U prime, R prime, D prime. Oh, wow, look, we actually got a PLL skip. Cool. Anyway, so now let me move on to the next case. So for this next case, I actually uh, use the ZBL, and basically, if you ever come up like this, where you have this two by two by one block here, basically you want to hold it in the right, and you want to perform this algorithm. But if you don't, just still do this algorithm. I'm just gonna give you all anyways. This is also called the bow tie case, and basically you want to hold it like this. So these two corners are right here, and these two corners are like this. You're gonna do X. R prime U R D prime R prime U prime R D. Now let me get into that ZBL. So what I was talking about with that that being a ZBL is that if you ever end up with this case and you have this little um, block here and the other one it's like these two are disoriented but this is like the opposite corner goes with it. You're just gonna if you ever see this block basically you want to hold it on the right and you're going to do that ZBL and it's gonna this can give you a very easy OL. I mean, PLL, sorry. It's just going to give you a very easy PLL. Anyway, so now I will move on to the next case. So this next one is very similar to the hammerhead. So you have these two corners, but except in the hammerhead, these two corners are yellow, but now you have headlights here. You want to hold it like this, and the algorithm is R2, D, R prime, U2, R, D prime, R prime, U2, R prime. And if I'm correct, those are actually all the OL cases that you could end up with. I know that was more than usual, but yeah, that's basically. Uh, th you're supposed to only come up with seven, but I just showed you guys some ZBLs just to give you guys a head start, you know, if you're just getting into the speed cubing community. But um, yeah, now I'm, j I'm just going to be going into two look PLL. So for two look peel, you're actually supposed to just learn a couple of algorithms. The first one is the U perms. There are two of them, the U A and the U B. This is the U A. It's the counterclockwise edge cycle, and basically, you, if you want to execute this, you're gonna hold the soft side in the back, and you have to if you have to look closely, basically. So basically, in the U A perm, you need to switch. You need to put this edge here this edge here and this edge here to solve the cube. The algorithm for this is R U prime R U R U R U prime R prime U prime R2. Now let me get into the UB perm. So the UB perm is actually executed differently. So basically the UB perm is where you have to put this edge here, this edge here, and this edge here. I actually hold it with the solved face in, in the front and the algorithm for this is R prime U R prime U prime R prime U prime R prime U R U R2 so yeah now let's get into the next algorithm that you have to know so the next algorithm that you need to know is the A perm the A perm is where you have this a very strange case I just did it for those for those of you out there that know full PL, I just did a G A perm, so that I could sort of show them like the A A perm and get all the corners permutated. For those of you guys that know full PL, but those of you that guys that don't and you're just trying to learn 
the, the algorithms in this video. Basically, uh, the AA perm is where you're gonna have the headlight. You're just gonna have headlights uh, around this third layer, and basically, you wanna match up that edge piece with its center. So I have two green headlights, and the center and the edge is red. So I'm uh, so I wanna match it up with the red edge, and they're gonna do this algorithm: X R prime U R prime D two R U prime R prime D two R two. And then you just want to match up the last layer. And yeah, and then you're either going to get one of the U perms, a Z perm, or an H perm, which I'm just going to get into later. But yeah, let's move on to the next algorithm. So this next algorithm is called the H perm. It's where you have all the corners permutated. You need to switch these two edges and these two edges. You might already come up you might not even need to permute all the corners because you might just have all the corners permuted in a solve but yeah if you just end up with this case in the beginning of a solve you might get a pretty good solve for you but anyways so um this the algorithm for the h perm is middle two u prime middle two u two middle two u prime middle two now i'm gonna get into the z perm the Z perm is again with all the corners permutated. We need to switch these two edges and these two edges. The algorithm for this is U2, middle two, U prime, middle two, U prime, middle, U2, middle two, U2, middle. Anyway, so um, let me get into the next case and the last one. So if you're in a case like this where you have no headlights throughout the whole cube, as you can see, no headlights, you're just going to do the E perm, which is a pretty easy case. The E perm, you're just going to just do that, and you're going to have all the corners permutated. And you're going to have a 1 in 21 chance of a PLL skip. So you're just going to, so the E perm algorithm is X prime, R, U prime, R prime, D, R, U R prime D prime R U R prime D R U prime R prime D prime. So now, as you can see, I actually landed with an H perm. So yeah, there you go. So basically, now you should understand uh, the the basics on the Friedrich the Friedrich method, the beginner basics at least. So if you're sort of in the beginner slash intermediate style. Like, you're just starting to learn the Friedrich method and stuff. Hopefully, this video was pretty good for you. And just to end off this, like, half an hour video, I will actually be doing a couple of walkthrough solves using the Tulip Ola and Tulip Peel. So, I, I'm actually not going to be doing, like, scrambles from the computer. I'm just going to do random hand scrambles. And, um, yeah. By the way, um, while I'm traveling around the world, I might make one or two vlogs and stuff, but I'm not gonna really do any cubing. I might not do any cubing related videos and stuff. But if I even make any videos, which there's a really small chance of me making any videos, I'm probably not gonna make that many videos. So yeah, mix up it, mix it up really good. Okay, there you go. So what I would do here is I see that this cross piece is actually already done, but actually, uh. I don't think I will be doing white cross here. I think I might be doing yellow cross because uh, ever since I started using the Friedrich method, I've actually just been doing yellow cross. Like, if the white cross is sort of bad, I'll just do yellow cross. So, yeah, that's just sort of a tip. Anyway, so I see that the yellow cross edge pieces are here, here, and here, and the last one's up here. So, they're, most of them are just in one little area, and the other ones are separated. And... And pretty much all of them are twisted wrong. Only one, only two of them are actually twisted correctly. So what I would do here is an F, D, and an L just to get these done. By the way, this is not what I would usually do in a solve, but f this video is mainly for the people that are just starting off the Friedrich method. So yeah. Then I see that this edge is actually in the very opposite. So basically, I would bring this up, do a U2. And an L2 to place to place this in. And then to get this edge done, I would do an F2, U prime, R prime, F R. Okay, so the first pair I see that we can make is this one. So 
I'm just gonna match this up with its center, and I'm I could just easily pair up this pair like that. Then this is actually one of the cases I was talking about. So basically, I wanna pretend that this is a pair, and basically I'm just going to do this. So now these two are the same color. Match this up, match this edge up with its center. I'm gonna pair them up, and I'm gonna place them in. This is the next pair that's actually already done, so I'm just going to put that in. And for this, we have to do R, U, R, Prem, U, Prem two times. Yeah, then we get that done. So, this, I'm just going to be using two look. I'm, I'm going to be using two look all. Because I would usually just use, for this case, I actually know the full all for this. But, let me just get back into that position. So, anyways, I'm just gonna be using two look just as I'm doing the as I'm doing the walkthrough stuff. So I see that this is the backwards L case. So I'm gonna do F U R U prime R prime F prime. Then we have this case, which is sort of the inverse of the hammerhead. So I'm gonna do R two D R prime U two R D prime R prime U two R prime. Then here. We have a T perm, but well, this is sort of an easy PL, but since it's not a part of two look, two look PL, I'm just gonna do the regular algorithm, which is the the AA perm. So I'm just gonna hold these in the back, but actually I want to match up the e match it up with the edge first. So I have the headlights in the back, and I'm just gonna do the AA perm. Then I'm just going to match everything up. And here I see that we have a Z perm. So I'm going to do the algorithm for the Z perm. And yeah, there you go. I'm just going to do two or three more. Actually, one or two more. Yeah, somewhere around there. Okay, let's do a couple of hand scrambles. By the way, the main reason in this video that I'm not, that I'm not using my main, which is my Moyalong, is because well first of all since I'm traveling around the world it's like in a very big luggage and stuff so yeah and I I just saw this cube I just saw this cube lying around and it's a pretty decent turning cube like you would see it's like very very scratchy and stuff but it's pretty smooth I actually lubricated this cube like let me just bring it up to the camera speaker is like with the camera so I'll just bring it up and so you guys can hear it I don't know if you guys can hear that, but yeah, it's pretty scratchy smooth. Oh, and by the way, if you guys ever wondered if I'm color neutral or not, I am not. I only do white or yellow cross. Anyway, so for this solve, uh, yeah, I think I'll I will actually be sticking with with white cross this time. So basically, I see my edges are here, 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 and here. Basically, first of all, I see that this is in the opposite, so basically, I would probably just end up by doing a U and an R prime. So I have these two that are matched up in their opposites. Then I would do a D2 to line this up with its opposite. Then I would do an L, then F. So basically, these two are all aligned. So I would just match them up by doing a D2, then an F2. So the first pair I see is this, which is just right in front of me. So Basically, I, this is actually one of the F2L cases that I was showing there, so I would just do the F2L case like that. This is the next pair I see, and this is actually a case that I didn't show. Because this is pretty easy. So, remember where, you, like in my uh, regular, in my old um, Friedrich Method tutorial, the F2L part, remember how I said like when you have to do this specific algorithm when this edge is already oriented and the corner is right here? that you're just gonna pretend these are the two centers that it's in this is oriented correctly since this is the bar and you just wanna do that until they're paired up and here I actually see that we need to use the sledgehammer so in order to preserve this pair since we have this pair done so I do the sledgehammer so now we preserve this pair and I can put that in uh, so here I see this and these two are the same color so I would just match them up and basically put them in and I would do since this is the backwards L case again I would do that for that 
Then we have this case. I'm just going to quickly look around if you have a block for the z bill. Nope. Okay, so I'm just going to do the case. And here we have, an, we have a U8 perm. So I'm just going to execute it quickly. Okay, now this is going to be my last solve. Hmm. Of course I'm going to be doing white cross here because that's like the easiest, easy, that's like the smartest thing to do here. So what I would do is since this is just, this edge is just in the wrong place and I see that this edge is right here. Before I put this edge here, I would just bring this down so that's like this. And basically I would hide this edge down and this edge down. So I could put this in its correct space and I would put both of these edges back and I'd just line this up. So the first pair I would do here is uh which one? I would do this one. So for this one, since both of these colors are both of the top colors are the same, I would have to hide the corner down in order to pair them up and I'll insert it from the back. Now I have this pair. Basically, you have to peek the corner down, do a U2. Then you can just pair, it up, pair them up with the three mover. I have this case where you have to sort of use an algorithm again. So I just do that. And for this, you have to hide the corner down in order to form the pair again, and you have to insert it from the back. Again, we have a backwards old case. And another backwards sledge, another like inverse sledge, inverse hammerhead case here. So just do that, and so here we have an we have an R R B perm, no an R A perm. But since I'm doing two look, I'm just gonna do the A A perm. Wait, eh, I'm getting some uh, some of ma some very major lockups here, and basically you you will have a R A. Oh my God, I can't speak today. An A B, no a U B perm. Oh my God. Anyway, so do that. There you go. Anyway, so this was my video, guys, and hope you liked it. And see you next time, which is gonna be like in a few, a few months to think about it. So yeah. Anyway, so after this video, I will actually probably be just be doing a vlog and stuff, just by saying. Like, if I do make any videos, what I'm going to be doing. So, yeah. Anyways, as always, peace out, rockers. Stay tuned for my vlog. And after that, you're just going to have to stay tuned for, like, a couple of months. But, yeah. Bye. And always remember, guys, to always be optimistic and stuff. And just peace out. Bye, rockers.